Hey there, welcome to Tour de Lafayette. I'm your host, Stephen Smith. In this episode, we'll be taking a look at just a handful of the beautiful historic buildings that make up the downtown core of Lafayette. Right now, I'm standing on the John T. Myers Pedestrian Bridge, which connects West Lafayette to Lafayette. Lafayette boasts a variety of architectural styles and notable buildings. The beautiful turn-of-the-century architecture is on grand display at the courthouse and other impressive structures. Well, I think the Perrin building on the square is very unique. It's the only cast iron structure that we have. The dome of the courthouse is also cast iron, uh, not stone. And those are the only two cast iron structures. The current Tippecanoe County Courthouse is the county's third courthouse. It was listed on the National Register of Historic Sites in 1973. The shape of the building is a large 150-foot Greek cross. From the ground to the top of the statue, the building measures 226 feet. Indiana limestone and brick were used for construction of the walls. The courthouse has 100 columns, nine pieces of statuary, and a cast iron dome containing four large clock faces and a bell. In 1887, a statue of the Marquis de Lafayette was added to the northeast corner of the courthouse square. The statue, sculpted by Laredo Taft, rests atop a fountain. This location has become a popular place to relax and enjoy the sights and sounds of downtown Lafayette. Now apartments, the Lar Building originally opened in 1831 as a hotel. Famous guests include President Ulysses S. Grant, writer Mark Twain, and poet James Whitcomb Riley. The building is home to the popular Bistro 501 restaurant and also the Knickerbocker Saloon, which hails itself as Indiana's oldest bar. We're here with Billy Brand, the dining room manager here at Bistro 501. He also lives and performs downtown as well. Billy, can you tell us a little bit about those experiences for you? Yeah, all, I've been living in downtown since about 2002. I just met other people who lived in downtown and I found a different social scene. And I like the, the sense of history about it and I, just, I like the sense of togetherness that as, as a neighborhood, I hadn't really lived anywhere yet in Lafayette, that, that, was, that was a larger area that, that had that sense of community. And I think that that has existed in downtown here probably for you know, well over 100 years, but um, I was happy to move into it and meet the people that I met. The Lafayette Theater at 600 Main Street opened in 1938 and operated until 1990. Until its restoration, which began in the early 2000s, the theater sat empty. It now hosts many different events, including banquets, receptions, classic movie showings, and even Monday Night Football gets its moment on the big screen. McCord Candies has operated in downtown Lafayette since 1912. It is one of the oldest operating soda fountains in Indiana and the entire Midwest. One of the store's greatest traditions is its handmade candy canes. McCord takes orders from around the world for these handmade favorites. With Rob Theodoro, founder and CEO of Stormfront Productions, and Rob, can you tell us a little bit about why you decided to locate in downtown Lafayette and how you especially came to be in this building after being in another building for a while? Sure. Uh, we've been downtown for about two and a half years and uh, I really I really enjoy downtown and the environment down here. Um, for uh, having a media company here in the area, um, it really gives us kind of an old uh, an old vibe with a young technology feel as well. So um, it, it was really nice and uh, fortunately there were a lot of uh, Places that, that we were able to, to find that we, that we really liked over on Main Street. Um, and we found this one, it really was the best fit for us. We wanted a building um, that we could occupy the, the entire building and have a little bit of space to grow into. In here we have our, our, our main meeting area where we meet with clients. It's pretty low key, pretty casual. So this has been great having you guys out here. Yeah, we really appreciate you showing us around and, and uh, letting us know what you do here and, and also uh, the way that you've uh, kept the old building together. We sure. Really appreciate it. Sure, no problem. It's been my pleasure and uh, if you ever have any questions, let me know. Uh, you can visit us anytime you like online at stormfrontproductions.net or 424 Main Street here. Awesome. Thanks, Rob. Thank you, guys. My pleasure. Terracotta is a complex and unique building material that gained popularity in the early 20th century and decorates some of Lafayette's grandest architectural treasures. Among these great examples of terracotta are the Murdoch Building at 226 North 6th Street, the Oppenheimer Building at 400 Main Street, and the Ross Building at 312 Main Street. The David E. Ross Building is an example of the Gothic Revival style of architecture. Characterized by pointed arches and ribbed vaulting, Gothic Revival stemmed from a movement of the 18th and 19th centuries aimed at reviving the spirit and forms of Gothic architecture. Located at 111 North 6th Street, the Long Center for the Performing Arts originally opened in 1921 as the Mars Theater. It has been a staple of the community since its construction and is home to the Lafayette Symphony Orchestra and the mighty Wurlitzer Organ. The theater was donated to the city in 1977 and renamed the Long Center. 
We're with Bill Farner, house manager of shows here at the Long Center. What does the Long Center mean to downtown? We are the performing arts theater. Uh, we brought people downtown. We had movies here, we had uh, children's shows here, we had adult shows here. And with our St. John P uh, Pavilion, we have weddings here, we have dinners here. Uh, we bring people downtown and we give them a, a beautiful venue, a nice building, good service. They come in and they, they come down and see us. This is our balcony area. We, it, it seats approximately 600 people. Our projection booth is up here. This is where, the, when it was a movie theater, they had the projection cameras in there. Now it's strictly for the spotlight area. This is the mighty Wurlitzer, a really a good theater organ. The pipes are all up overhead. That's the tour of the Long Center for the Performing Arts. I hope you enjoyed your tour. We did, thank you, Bill. Hey, glad to have you. Take care. Built in 1843, the John Purdue Block on 2nd Street was said to be the largest commercial trade center of its time, west of New York City. It was originally a row of 12 buildings running from Columbia to South Street. The remaining building is the only one left with a direct association to the Wabash and Erie Canal. The large arched windows on the back of the building were originally used to load and unload merchandise. The Big Four Depot, located in Reilly Plaza, was originally built in 1902. However, it did not always call its current location home. In 1994, as part of the Lafayette Railroad Relocation Project, it was moved to its current location and is now the centerpiece of Reilly Plaza. It was placed on the National Register of Historic Places in 2003. Well, that'll wrap up our downtown architecture tour. For Tour de Lafayette, I'm Stephen Smith. Remember, preserving the past is preserving the future.